In all Skullhoy products, we are using microprocessors to communicate with ATEM switches and other peripherals. And we have cho chosen two types from the Arduino series. And the one is the Arduino Ethernet. It comes in a box like this. And it's, it has a small form factor. I'll get back to that. And the other one is the Arduino Mega, which is the top model. Uh, it has some other features and um, whether we choose the one or the other depends on what we need in the particular product. But um, you can buy an Arduino for something like $30 or so, um, and it comes in a small box like this. Yeah, it's actually quite nice because Arduino is also an open source platform. So when you open their products, they will include a little thank you brochure and uh, there are some stickers you can attach to your car bomber or whatever. And then you find inside a nice little printed circuit board like this one. So the Arduino Ethernet is a really cool board because it has the Ethernet connection right on the board. And on the back it has a programming header uh, for programming something onto the little microprocessor which is there. And this is how it looks when you unpack it. Now if you're going with the Arduino Mega, you need something more before you can communicate with an ATEM switch. And that is the Arduino Ethernet Shield. So um, that will give you the um, Ethernet jack. And on the Ethernet Shield, you also find the uh, MAC address of the Shield, which you will need to make sure that it, it has a unique uh, address on the uh, network. And the same thing goes for the Arduino Ethernet. It also has the MAC address on the backside. So if we compare these two, we have the Ethernet, uh, Arduino Ethernet here, and we have, have the Arduino Mega over here. And you have to put the Arduino Ethernet Shield on top of this one. And that's a specific thing about the Arduino platform. It is that the platform can be enhanced by putting shields or stacking small printed circuit boards on top of each other. And we have the Ethernet shield, but it could also be a motor shield. Uh, and, and as you will see, we have our own shield for the Skorhoi products, which basically is a breakout shield um, that gives the right signal path uh, to a flat cable so we can connect it to all our uh, homemade boards. So basically, you press this shield down like that, and now you have two Arduinos, which can both communicate with an ATEM switcher, but has different properties. And let's take a look at those properties. So I have here a uh, comparison of the two. And um, the Arduino Ethernet has less memory than the Arduino Mega. So to be a little hard, we'll have to say that if we are in need of memory, the right way to go will be the Arduino Mega. Uh, and not the, the Ethernet model over here. Um, in uh, actual numbers, we have here two kilobytes of RAM and we have uh, 32 kilobytes of uh, program memory. Over here, we have 256 kilobytes of program memory and we have eight kilobytes of RAM. And anyway, it's so little memory compared to modern computers, so you won't believe it. But it's enough for what we do. So it's just that sometimes you need some more program memory and RAM. You will need to choose the Arduino Mega. So let's look at I.O. points. And what is an I.O. point? It's, it's um, uh, the possibility for one of these boards to, to uh, control something. Um, it's not really exact definition, but um, again, the Arduino Mega, it has some I.O. points here, some analog inputs, some di digital outputs. Uh, but compared to the, um, to the Arduino Mega over here, we have a lot more uh, I.O. points, digital outputs, and we have more analog outputs. So again, uh, we will have to say that the Arduino Ethernet loses on the I.O. points, but the Mega wins. Okay, so when we get to cable type, what do I mean by that? I mean that both these platforms, they need to be programmed. And if you take the Arduino Mega, we have a um, USB-AB cable, which plugs in the front here, and it connects directly to any computer. So it's a really good solution, it's easy. 
uh, but the Arduino Mega is a little more troublesome. You need a special cable, which actually has a little chip in the USB plug here. And in the other end, it has this uh, six pin uh, header, which you uh, stick onto the board right here. You have to observe that the black wire is located near the digital pin row right here. Um, so this is the correct way to connect it. And the other end goes into your computer, but you need to install a driver on your laptop before you can actually program it. So if you look at cable types, I, we would again have to say that the Arduino Mega wins because it's the um, solution that will be most easy for everyone and the cable is cheaper. So, oh, it doesn't look good for the Arduino Ethernet, huh? It's losing. But then comes the interesting bit, and that's dimensions, because to be honest, this solution is, in many of our cases, not desirable because it, it takes up too much space. And, and if we are going for a really simple application of controlling an ATEM switch, we just don't need all the memory and everything associated with the mega platform. We would go directly with the Arduino Ethernet because it's smaller, so we can make smaller products. And that's definitely the win that justifies the fact that we are using the Arduino Ethernet board and not the Mega for everything. And then price again, it's not a lot, but it's some, I don't know, $30, $50 or so. That means that the Arduino Ethernet is cheaper than the uh, Arduino Mega, which also has the added cost of the shield, which is uh, the reason why uh, there's the, the difference. So when you, um, buy one of we, these, um, there are some accessories you need. Um, you need a power supply and we use a 7.5 volt power supplies and uh, you can just use a stock power supply from any electronics uh, supplier as long as it supplies you something like one, one amp of, uh, of current and um, you should be good. So uh, 7.5 volt is, is a good number because in fact, the boards themselves, they are running on 5 volt, but there is a voltage regulator on the boards and that needs a little bit overhead of voltage. So this is why you need to supply it with at least 7 volts according to the, to the recommendations from uh, the Arduino company. And uh, this will, will do well. If you go too high to 12 volts, it can actually take, take it, but it's a bad idea because as soon as you begin to connect a lot of LEDs and everything else, uh, the voltage regulator will overheat. Finally, uh, we have also a plastic box. You can get this for something like $20 or so. And um, this box will host these units. So if you're not already having a nice aluminum enclosure like in many of our products, you can have a plastic enclosure like this one, which can be handy to just protect the electronics. And uh, the, the boards fit pretty neatly into this, into this box. You'll need to... Um, to, to cut away some plastic sometimes. As you can see, it's, that fits pretty well. And then you can put this on top, you need to take this one out, and there we go. The shield that will connect your Arduino to any of the Skorhoi modules looks like this. I'll just take, take some of this away. And we call it the breakout shield because it really, what it really does is that you place it on top like this and then it breaks out the necessary connectivity to any of, of our modules through a simple flat cable like this one. Then it also hosts a reset button like that. And um, it also does something else which is pretty useful. And um, this is uh, visible if you take off the programming header right here, um, which are a little row of, of pins. Then we have the same pins under this breakout shield so they fit into this slot and they bring the pins to the front, which means when you put on this breakout shield, like that, you can now connect your programming cable from the front. Again, you'll have to observe the black, but it just fits in like that. And that's really useful, uh, of course, if you put this inside an enclosure with a little slot uh, um, uh, drilled on the front so that you can access the programming header. Okay, so that's an introduction to the Arduino Ethernet. 
the larger Arduino Mega inside this box, the programming cables, and the reason why we sometimes choose the one or the other.